So in this video, I want to share with you my script uh, and teach you in this script of how a simple way that you can learn how to sell final expense life insurance. I'm going to do it in less than five minutes. This script changed my life. It helped me sell over $500,000 of final expense on my own pen. And this is exactly how our agency does multiple six figures each month. And it's with this simple script. I'm going to break it down to you in four main parts. The first part is the intro. So Hello, this is Peter. I'm reaching out to you because you sent this request in. Uh, it shows you that you listed your birthday is this, or you listed that your beneficiary is this. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, are you looking here to add coverage on to what you currently have, or are you just looking to kind of leave some money behind to cover your burial expenses? Get a clear why. I am looking to cover my burial expenses. Okay, gotcha. Miss um, Betty, let me explain how the process works. I'm gonna look through all these companies here. I'm gonna find you the best company based off of your age and your health, okay? Does that sound good? Now, Miss Betty, I'm gonna go ask you some medical questions so I can understand how I can best help you. Any heart attacks, strokes, cancers, any diabetes, any COPD, lung disease, any AIDS, HIV, ARC. Let me understand what your medical conditions are so I can understand how I can best help you. So I get the medical information. After I get the medical information, I can understand, okay, cool. I know I can put her with X company. Okay, well, Miss Com Miss Betty, this looks really good. I found a company that's gonna be the best company based off of your age and your health. This is why it's important to be a broker that has the best products based off of someone's age and their health. Next step is you're gonna go in there and ask them, okay, well, hey, my name is Peter Roberts. If you need any of my information, my credibility is this. Here's what it is. So I know you know that you're, you know, who you're speaking with and that you feel comfortable speaking with me, that I'm a licensed agent here in your state. And ultimately, I have the credentials to be speaking with you. Three most important questions now is the discovery. The discovery is the most important part of your sales process because it's how you can understand what they're looking for, why they're looking for, it, and what have they done in the past. Question number one. Miss Betty, this sounds really important to you. What had your motivator had you start looking around for some life insurance? Well, I wanted to make sure my final expenses are taken care of. Okay, so you want to make sure that the barrel expenses are taken care of. Is that correct? Yes. You're always mirroring it and you're always summarizing it back to them. So they, they feel heard, that they feel understood. Second question is, okay, and since you don't have coverage right now, what are you really worried about, Miss Betty? Since you don't have coverage in place right now, what are you concerned about? Well, if I die, someone's going to be stuck paying for my burial expenses. So what we'll do is we'll dive deeper. Miss Betty, what does that look like? Who would it be that is responsible? Put the target on someone's back. Is it going to be your son? Is it going to be your daughter? It's going to be my daughter. Okay, let's talk about how bad it is. You know, since you don't have life insurance, what would they have to go through? Um, okay, so consequences like, okay, what would your daughter have to do? Would she have to knock on doors, raise money? What is she going to do to kind of come up with a ten to 15000 to cover your burial expenses? Oh, she wouldn't be able to do that. What would she have to do? I don't know. She'd probably have to raise money. So it sounds like, Miss Betty, that your daughter would have to raise money since you don't have burial life insurance. Put the target on someone's back and explain the pain. Third thing as well, Miss Betty, you've just told me how bad it would be for your daughter. Have you looked for life insurance in the past? She's going to say yes or no. If she says yes, okay, gotcha. And why haven't you moved forward? It's typically some type of an objection that's going to come my way. Well, I uh, wanted to buy it, but they were putting me at the waiting period. Or I wanted to buy it and they wanted to, you know, you know, not let me start it until the third of the month. And I couldn't do that. So there's some type of objection. So understand that objection. And then the last portion is to summarize it. Okay, so Miss Betty, summarize points one, two, three, all in one point. Miss Betty, it sounds like that you are looking to cover your bail expenses, that your daughter's going to be in a tough position, and that you've been looking in the past. Does that all sound about right? Put all those in a long paragraph. Then you're going to ask them if they have a way to pay for it. Do they have a routing and account number so that you understand what companies to go with? Third is then they go into understanding or explaining the product. Well, I found the best company for you here out of all the companies. It's with a company called Mutual Omal. Have you heard of them before? No, I haven't. Okay, gotcha. Well, they've been in business for a while now. They are the company that's going to give you the best price and the best rate. Okay, now they have three options for you. They have you know, the first option is uh, a starter option. This is an option that's going to make sure that if something happens to you, you have something to cover your burial expenses. The second option is, you know, really a familiar option that most people go with. It's going to be able to cover all your burial expenses now on into the future and make sure that you're taken care of. The third option is going to be, um, you know, an, a higher option. I don't know if I recommend this for you, but this, you know, this, I guess, max option is going to be, you know, 30000 out of those three options, Miss Betty, do you think the ten thousand or the fifteen thousand? What will give you the most peace of mind? She picks the ten thousand. Okay, and not ten thousand. Will that be comfortable and affordable for you every month? She says yes, and then you move into the application, and that's how you sell final expense life insurance. Don't overcomplicate it. Keep it simple, and that's how you will sell life insurance that will change your life and allow you to become a absolute closer with a simple script, a simple framework, and it's by asking questions. So if you guys. Want to learn how to sell final expense? This video is going to teach you in less than five minutes. Love y'all. If you want more, let me know. Bye.